Hi, this is nutritionist and holistic health consultant Kath King back with another free gift for you. Hopefully you've been enjoying the other free gifts and have found them helpful. If you've missed one, you can just look above to find a link to download them. To recap, you should have Taming the Hunger Hormone Report, the three huge mistakes almost everyone makes when they try to lose weight report, and the webinar Balance Your Hormones to Master Your Weight, which gave you the opportunity to download Master Your Hormones Self-Assessment Questionnaire and Bridging the Willpower Gap. Before we get on to today's free gift, I'd like to return to our story about Sarah, who you met in the previous video before you downloaded the three huge mistakes. After reading about the three mistakes Sarah made in that report and some strategies to address these mistakes in bridging the willpower gap, I'd like to give you a visual image of how these strategies are actually applied in daily life. Let's imagine for a moment that the book she had read was called Eat More to Weigh Less. Looking back, what would have been different about that fateful Friday night when her weight loss endeavour started to crumble? Let's rewind the tape and take a peek. It's Friday night and Sarah is out at the movies with a friend. It's been a long week. She feels drained and irritable because she's got a lot going on. Work is stressful and she's just had major car troubles. But boy is she excited about her new way of eating. She's been following it for over a month now and already it's getting easier. Earlier in the week, she completed her meal plan and planned out what she was going to eat for the week. She went to the grocery store and bought everything she needed. Now though, she's confronted with the snack bar at the movie theatre. Her friend walks over and stands in line. Sarah hardly skips a beat. Her lines in the sand are clear. She knows she has no business even approaching the counter. She tells her friend that she's going to the bathroom before the movie starts and she'll meet her in the theatre. She's not even hungry anyway. She packed her large, healthy dinner last night and ate it at work while she was fin finishing off her emails. It was filling and delicious, just what the doctor ordered at the end of her long, exhausting week. On the way home, Sarah puts on the car radio and relaxes into the song. This eat more to weigh less thing is different. She can feel it in her bones. She still has a lot of weight to lose, but it's melting off and she knows it's just a matter of time. But the weight doesn't seem to matter as much anymore. She feels happy, healthy and peaceful already. Sarah's experience is not unique. You can experience the same success in your weight loss. I know you might be a bit sceptical about embarking on such a different way of eating to what you're used to and to what you've been led to believe is how you should eat. We live in a society that teaches everything in moderation. But let me ask you a question. If you had a friend who was a heavy smoker and they got diagnosed with lung cancer, would you advise her to cut back on her smoking so that she's only smoking in moderation? No, of course you wouldn't. You would tell her to quit. It's the same with food. Either a food is part of our natural diet and is contributing towards our health, happiness and peace, or 
it's detracting from those things. And if moderation was going to work for you, it would have worked by now. But you don't have to take my word for it. There's plenty of science to back it up. So if you're serious about losing weight, serious enough to want to know the truth, even if it means that what you've believed to be true all these years was a lie, then I invite you to download the ebook on your right, One Diet to Rule Them All, a summary of nutritional research. And then if you haven't already, register for the Eat More to Weigh Less program that you learned about in the webinar so that I can guide you through the pitfalls of losing weight using a whole food, plant-based diet. Until next time, here's to your best health.